Here's the crazy part. The story of 3i Atlas didn't actually begin when astronomers spotted it moving through our solar system. It began 48 years earlier, when a faint, narrow-band whisper near the hydrogen line appeared on an old radio dish in Ohio, and then disappeared. It lasted just over a minute. Clean, narrow, deliberate. A sound too precise to be random. The operator on shift that night circled the printout with a red pen and scribbled one word next to it. Wow. It became a legend, the famous 1977 WOW signal. But after months of tests and cross-checks, no one could make sense of it. It never repeated, so it was labeled an anomaly, filed away, archived, and forgot. For nearly half a century, that faint signal sat buried in databases and mislabeled tapes, dismissed as noise. Until now, because when engineers recently aligned that original 1977 frequency pattern with the current trajectory of 3i atlas something impossible emerged the pulse from that old radio burst wasn't random it matched the timing of atlas's own flickering light curves its small rhythmic surges and silences with mathematical precision it was like finding a clock ticking in the dark and realizing it's been waiting for this exact moment to strike most people know the hydrogen line 1420 megahertz. It's the quietest place in the cosmic spectrum, the natural frequency of the universe's most common element. If anyone, anywhere, ever wanted to send a signal across time, that's the frequency they'd use. Because hydrogen is everywhere, and its resonance never changes. The 1977 burst came from that exact line. It was short, clean, and structured, and for 48 years it looked like a dead end. But now, as 3i Atlas passes through our solar system, the pieces finally line up. Its light pulses follow the same ratios. As the hydrogen bursts amplitude, its accelerations mirror the same rhythm hidden in that ancient waveform. And its chemistry, the one that's baffled every scientist since discovery, sinks perfectly to the same invisible clock. The implications are staggering. Because what if the wow signal wasn't a message but a countdown? Not language, not communication, just a calibration. A clock that would only make sense when transmitter and receiver finally occupied the same geometry in space and time. That geometry is now. When NASA's James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward 3i Atlas, the data looked like madness. Spectral spikes of carbon dioxide eight times stronger than water vapor, unheard of for a comet. Metallic nickel flaring without a trace of iron, something that literally shouldn't exist in nature. And every flare, every drop, every pulse, repeating at exact intervals over and over. Not random noise, a heartbeat. Engineers at NASA and SETI decided to test a wild theory. They took the old 1977 hydrogen burst and used it as a scale, a reference key. They mapped every brightness spike, every silence, every change in 3i Atlas's spectrum against that scale. And suddenly, everything fell into order. Infrared spikes matched radio nulls. Nickel emissions lined up with optical dips. Even the brief windows of total silence. Those eerie pauses when Atlas stopped emitting anything at all matched the same ratio of timing from that 1977 waveform. Decades of chaos turned into rhythm, like a song we'd been hearing out of tune for 50 years. The pattern repeated in Fibonacci intervals, 5, 8, 13, 21, building like a sequence. That kind of order doesn't emerge from chaos. It's either deliberate or fundamental to physics itself. But no one had ever seen a natural body behave like that. Not Taumuamua, not Borisov, not any comet or asteroid before it. 3i Atlas didn't just drift, it kept time. Perfectly, that's when scientists realized why no one had noticed before. The universe hides its messages in geometry. When the 1977 burst reached Earth, we weren't aligned. Our timing systems weren't accurate enough. Our sensors not synchronized. Now, with atomic precision clocks and global data stitching between radio, optical, and infrared, the alignment is finally perfect. And suddenly, the entire dataset hums with structure. Three I Atlas's rotations, outgassing events and brightness surges all follow one repeating geometry, like a beacon sweeping through darkness exactly on schedule. It's not random. It's a plan. The hydrogen line matters for another reason. 
It's a protected quiet band. No Earth-based transmitter is legally allowed to use it. That means if you hear something there, it's not us. And hydrogen doesn't just broadcast, it measures. A pulse at 1420 megahertz can reveal everything about the medium it travels through, temperature, density, distance, velocity. Which means that old burst might not have been a greeting at all. It could have been a calibration ping, designed to collect readings across time, bouncing between systems, waiting to sync with something passing through, waiting for 3i Atlas. When Webb analyzed its chemical composition, the biggest mystery was the nickel. No iron, just pure nickel flaring like a signal lamp. It's as if the material was engineered to survive extreme heat, releasing vapor only when stressed or maneuvering. Each nickel flare corresponded to a moment of acceleration. When Atlas moved, nickel rose. When it rested, nickel vanished, almost like a machine throttling power, then cooling down. And then there's the silence. Perfect, deliberate, measurable silence. Every time Atlas flares, a blackout follows total absence across every band. Infrared, radio, visible, all go dark, then come back on cue. Comets don't do that. No natural body can turn its emissions on and off with mechanical precision. But systems do. Satellites do. Machines do. By aligning that silent rhythm to the old hydrogen burst, analysts notice something chilling. The pauses weren't random either. They fell into precise timing windows that matched the exact wavelength stretch predicted by the 1977 burst Doppler shift. That means the 48-year gap wasn't coincidence. It was a clock cycle. It wasn't talking to us. It was waiting for us to be in position to understand. When the model was finalized, chaos vanished. Infrared readings, brightness flares, radio pulses, all danced to the same beat. For the first time, scientists could predict what 3i Atlas would do next. And they were right. The following week, right on schedule, the comet brightened, pulsed, and fell silent exactly as the pattern foretold. Nature doesn't predict itself that perfectly. Something or someone designed this. But even if it wasn't designed, even if it's natural, that's no less mind-blowing. Because it means there's a kind of structure in the universe we've never seen before. An order that stretches across generations, across lifetimes, across space and time itself. A whisper frozen in hydrogen, waiting half a century for us to grow smart enough to hear it properly. And that's the heart of it. Maybe this isn't intelligence in the way we think of it. Maybe it's physics showing us a side we've never understood. Or maybe, and this is what terrifies people the most, it's both. A bridge between chemistry and consciousness. Between matter and intent. Because the moment the wow signal lined up with 3i Atlas, something clicked. For the first time, the randomness of space looked like a system keeping time. And if that's true, then maybe we're not just floating through the cosmos. We're inside a clock, a vast, ancient mechanism built into the fabric of reality itself, marking epochs we can barely comprehend. The 1977 burst wasn't a message we failed to understand. It was a reminder, a tap on the shoulder, telling us the clock was set. And now, nearly 50 years later, it has struck its hour. If the alignment holds, the next predicted flare should occur within days. If it does, it will confirm the pattern not as coincidence, but as timing. And timing, as any engineer will tell you, is everything. Maybe 3i Atlas isn't intelligent. Maybe it's a relic, a traveler from a system long dead, still running on instructions older than the sun. Or maybe it's something else entirely, something that measures, adjusts, calibrates, and listens. Either way, we've just learned how to hear differently. The universe doesn't shout. It whispers through rhythm, through light, through silence. And sometimes the only thing more haunting than what it says is how long it's been waiting for us to finally listen. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click the next video on your screen where we break down how 3i Atlas's final transmission might connect back to the original WOW signal and what NASA is preparing for as the object passes behind the sun. Because if the pattern holds, we're about to find out whether the universe just sent us a coincidence or an answer.